You're watching Telecom TV from the MEF annual members meeting in Boston. And I'm joined now by Mark Abeloffia, who is the COO of DataVision. Mark, thanks for joining us on Telecom Good TV. Day. Thank you for having me. Um, DataVision is a systems integrator. Uh, what role does a systems integrator have in helping providers achieve the MEF's third network vision? So there's a few answers to that, actually, but uh, the most uh, interesting one is that as a systems integrator, we are exposed to many different solutions from industry. And what we do is help the members uh, or different clients of ours in that particular vertical market look at what's available, uh, help test it out, look at what some of the good solutions are, how they're going to help move their business forward. And from an MEF perspective, uh, our job is to basically integrate and glue all those disparate systems and solutions together. Now, the MEF is, is, is placing a lot of emphasis on LSO and lifecycle service orchestration at the moment. How important will that be to providers? It's actually very important to providers because that allows them to not only automate their back office systems and able to uh, program their networks as opposed to the heavy manual activity that's done now to configure networks, mm -hmm. but also allow a common interface amongst service providers who will be interconnecting for each other to provide their clients their services. And what would you say are the, are the, the main challenges that service providers face related to, to LSO um, and how can the MEF uh, and its members help them overcome this? So the, the big issues that they face are that they've got uh, many, many years of bespoke systems that are completely customized to their own specific business model and how they operate. And when you look at an LSO, which is the whole point of the exercise of standardizing how all these things communicate to each other, the challenge is how do you re-engineer the back office operations of all these different providers to adhere or at least march to the same tune of the LSO concept. So what is DataVision doing specifically um, with the MEF? So we've got a few initiatives going on right now. We also do uh, exhibiting at their Gen and MEF uh, fill-in-the-blank year. Uh, uh, ex exhibitions uh, during uh, the November season, but what we're doing now specifically is part of the Open CS initiative uh, that was just started by Pascal in the office of the CTO, and we're actually we have actually raised our hands for two of those uh, use cases that have come up. The first is uh, NFV, Network Functions Virtualization, and the second is uh, Cloud Exchange, and the two of those are part of that whole Open CS initiative. The Cloud Exchange piece is uh, a effort to create a standard whereby if you're a cloud provider like an Amazon or uh, Microsoft Azure or what have you, there is a uh, standard API or standard methodology to connect that cloud infrastructure through a provider's infrastructure to the end customer. So we're going to try to standardize how all that intercommunication takes place. So is this a direct cloud connectivity? Uh, it is. It is. So, but it's direct cloud connectivity through a service provider to another cloud provider. So if I'm a corporate headquarters and I'm using cloud services through a tier one or tier two provider, fill in the blank, there exists today, or there doesn't exist today, a, a standard way to connect from that particular uh, endpoint, the corporate headquarters, through a service provider to the cloud itself. It's not, it's, it's all ad hoc. There are a couple of different standards that are out there, but there's nothing that is uh, uniform throughout for many providers to many cloud providers to many uh, corporate headquarters types locations. So the, uh, these two projects you're working on under the Open CS initiative, are, the, are, are these a, a finite uh, time cycle? Are, are we looking at them over, over a period of, of months or years? That's a really good question. Um, we really would like to see that over the period of months. Mm -hmm. We'd like to you know, move things along in a much quicker time cycle than the typical MEF um, standardization process. And the reason is that the market is moving very quickly. So years, we may develop them or continually upgrade things over you know, a period of years, what have you, but we want to get something out there in a period of months. And given some of the current work that DataVision does in the space, we feel that we have a couple of solutions uh, in the works that can help move that along. But obviously part of the whole MEF process is to contribute to that and grow it and create it together, and that's part of what this whole effort is all about. Now you mentioned earlier that you, you uh, exhibit at the MEF annual uh, events. Yes. Um, we've got one coming up in Baltimore in November. We've got MEF 16. What are your expectations for MEF 16, and also what can the rest of the industry expect to see, and, and perhaps from yourself? Sure. So. My expectations for that particular conference are that we're going to move this OpenCS uh, concept forward that much more. I think it'll be socialized a lot 
uh, more thoroughly throughout the MEF and, of course, industry, because this is now the first time we've introduced it at this particular quarterly meeting. So that'll be four months to get the word out as far as what it happens to be and then garner their support for contributing to these efforts. Uh, from a uh, data vision standpoint, what we hope to get out of that is, of course, the commercial success of having been at the forefront of developing these standards, and therefore this client base would want to say, hey, Data Vision, why don't you help us actually execute on the OpenCS work as well as the LSO concept and help us you know, pick the vendors, do the integration work, help us design the engineering, and, and help us realize that vision. So that's pretty much what we hope, get to hope out of that. Excellent. Well, we hope to see you at MEF 16. Thank you, uh, We shall Mark, be there. Very much. Thank you.